welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys again for tuning in. This is my official labor and delivery video. Um, I had already filmed it, but I don't know why my computer is not uploading to YouTube. So I'm going to try a different method. Um, I filmed it like on different settings, so I think I messed up the upload. But anyways, I am here again, and um, I finally found some time to do this. Um, so... Without further ado, let's get started. My due date, I was 40 weeks and I was going in for a checkup, August 20, 2021. I went into my checkup and uh, the midwife said I was 3 to 4 centimeters dilated already. She decided to strip my membranes, which um, basically they just stick their fingers into the vagina and kind of just strip the membranes. Uh, and that's a way to induce labor. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I was really hoping that this worked for me. My checkup, um, oh, let me mention, she did say that there would be some cramping and some like bleeding um, or spotting, so that was pretty normal. Went to my mother's house, I was there for a while, and then I just started feeling like not too good, very crampy and just very tired. So I came home and I took a nap for two hours and around 4.30, I still felt very crampy and um just tired so i couldn't go back to sleep because the cramps they were actually the contractions they were mainly on my back radiating to the front but mainly on my back they were really hurting and they were just constant um so they were just you know coming and not leaving i tried going back to sleep i couldn't so then i called my mom and i'm like hey mom you know this is going on and she said well maybe it's because they you know strip your membranes and um, you're probably dilating a little bit more but don't be alarmed unless it gets you know more constant so I called the labor and delivery also just in case um, so you know just in case that they had a room for me because they had been on like um, redirect basically like they'll send you to a different hospital because They've been really um, busy and just like um, really full. And I guess during these times, there's a lot of babies being born. So like on my false alarms, they once sent me to like a city and like 30 minutes away from here. So I just wanted to make sure. And um, so I told the labor and delivery nurse about my symptoms and she said, okay, we'll just, you know, um, keep an eye on the pain that you're having time them and etc so i got in the bathtub with some hot water just to soothe the pain because it was like getting worse um and as i'm in the bathtub they kept getting worse and worse i mean the water the hot water did help but it just didn't stop they kept them um, coming so um i called labor and delivery and i said I'm gonna be going in within like the next 30 minutes if they don't stop um, and then I also called daddy so I told him hey you know what um, I think it might be time I have these pains I think are contractions and they're not going away so um, I told him as well in 30 minutes if they don't go away actually I said an hour I don't remember what I said but anyways 30 minutes later I called both labor and delivery and him and I said it's, I'm coming in so um, daddy came as soon as he could but I think he took a sweet time because maybe he thought it was a false alarm since we had a couple before daddy got here and he picked me up and um, we did make a stop at Pollo Loco which terrible service out of all days we had the terrible service that day anyway so there was a lot of traffic during that time and that was like one of my worst fears of you know the day of delivery we got on the freeway and the the traffic was so heavy so here's the funny part we were gonna take a shortcut well he was gonna take a shortcut and um cut through like a lane and that was like a very illegal thing to do and for our luck there was like two cops right there on the side and we were just like uh what do we do you know so we asked him so like we just said you know what let's do the smart thing and just like ask him for 
an escort to the hospital um just to you know just to be safe and i would not want him to get a ticket no so anyways we asked them if we can get an escort but instead they called an emt for us because uh, they just wanted to make sure that i was okay baby was okay just in case i was delivering in traffic so um So the EMT got there like maybe like in 10 minutes or so and I got on the gurney and um, it was funny though the whole time it was really funny because these two policemen while they were waiting with us they had they had they mentioned they they were not and they were not parents they don't they didn't have any kids so they were just like saying well I don't really know what to tell you but you know I've heard what you can do is just breathe so that's what I was just doing and and I was talking to them and they were kind of distracting me from these pains that I was just having. And um, daddy on the other side was just so calm. Like, I know how he does that, how he can stay so calm. But um, I, I would question him like, how can you be so calm in a time like this? So, but anyways, you know, that was just me and my emotions and just, you know. Um, so the EMT got there, I got on the gurney, and we were on our way over there. The contractions were like three to four minutes apart, and um, the ride there was hilarious. They were playing like rap hip-hop music in the background inside the EMT, and I'm over here just like in pain. I'll show you guys the clip. so that's how it was the whole ride there like they were also chill and i'm over here like just trying to contain myself just trying to go through these pains um but uh yeah they were talking to me and they're just you know distracting me and that helped but at the hospital in an ambulance was not part of the plan at all it's just something that just happened and honestly like i feel like that was the best thing that happened because I was freaking out I thought I was gonna deliver already the pain was so bad like it was it's so different than my first pregnancy it was it was so different and much more painful that when I got to the hospital I just wanted the epidural right away with my per with my first pregnancy I didn't have any pain until like hours later of being in the hospital because of my water being broken anyways so I got to the hospital they checked me and um, right away they said um, do you want anything for the pain and I said yes I want the epidural so they put me inside my room and start an IV on me so I told them I'm a hard stick you might need to like warm up my hand with like a heat pack or something um, and they tried like three times so my poor arm was very sore actually both arms they tried on both of them then the anesthesiologist, did I say it right? Anesthesiologist. Yeah. So she came in and she said, okay, I'm going to try to um, get that IV in and um, we'll see. And hopefully that, hopefully we can, hopefully we can get started on your epidural. So she did get the IV in me, but she was so, so like aggressive with it. Like she made me bleed a whole lot like there was blood on the on the sheets of the of the bed on my blanket and i just looked and i'm like oh my gosh out of all times that i have been poked i have never bled this much um she even kind of was like oh i'm so sorry you know i was kind of a little bit aggressive um and knowing that she was gonna put the epidural on me i was kind of nervous so i was not like you know i just didn't feel right that she was gonna do that so anyways um so maybe you know this is where God comes in and he knew I was scared and afraid and I was just nervous about her performing the epidural 
So they called her out to do an emergency C-section, to assist in an emergency C-section. So she left and um, I was just there waiting and it felt like an eternity waiting for another person or her to come back to perform the epidural. So I was there in so much pain so somebody else came this time it was a male and honestly he did a great job it was fast quick and easy and I didn't even know that it was in until they told me it was already in so he did great even like the nurse there said that he you know he's a great um, anesthesiologist uh, so I'm really glad that God took care of me during that um, during that during that moment because if anything goes wrong with the epidural you can have serious side effects they can hurt your back or mess something in there so I'm glad that it went well so epidural kicked in like 15 20 minutes later which was a relief oh my god and you know I was just kind of relaxing I was just trying to get some rest and just trying to stay calm um, my water still hadn't broke which was very weird um, so then like around midnight i started feeling very nauseous i felt like throwing up i had anxiety um i felt like i was super cold i was kind of shaking so the nurse came in um after we called her and she said okay maybe we need to check see if everything's okay down there if your water broke how far you're dilate how far along you're dilated so she checked me and she said, okay, you're eight centimeters already. We're going to try to get the uh, midwife to see if she can break your water already to speed things up. So she came in and I told her how I was feeling and she said, okay, well, maybe it might be time um, to, wait, to break your water and, you know, like the nurse said, speed things up. So I told the midwife how I was feeling and she said, okay, well, first of all, let's break your water to speed things up so um she also told me to turn on my side so that maybe that would help with the nausea and um the anxiety I was feeling because you know when you're pregnant and you're laying on your back all that weight is on you so she thought that would help so I turned on my side and she said oh I think your water just broke so I literally just turned and that's when my water just you know ruptured um, and I dilated very quick to 10 centimeters and um, I was ready to push so in 10 minutes I pushed my little baby girl and um, we welcomed into the world Janina Page on August 21st 2021 And um, she measured at 20 inches and a half and she weighed 7.2 so um, she is perfectly healthy she's so beautiful I'm just so happy I am excited already to be her mom and Santino is doing really good as a big brother I'll get into that a little bit more later but he's doing awesome he loves her, he protects her, and it's just so cute to watch. I, I love it. I love being a mom of two. Honestly, I was very nervous at first when I found out I was pregnant. Um, I did not know how that was going to go, but, you know, my love is not divided. It just grows for two little human beings. So, I'm just in love with my daughter, and I'm in love with my son, and... It's just been so far an experience and a journey and um, I keep learning every day to be a mom of two but you know I just take it day by day. 
and I just love it. I love being a mom and I cherish it and um, and yeah so that's it for you now you guys um, oh yeah and then um, we also were featured on clay court it's like a news like a news kind of um, page for our local community clay court and so it's kind of funny um, I'll put the link down below if they haven't took it down yet the post so it's pretty funny and um, I had a laugh about it like after I gave birth I read it the, the article and um, it's just funny you guys and um, so yeah I'll share that with you guys and I hope you guys like this video so that's it for now you guys I hope you guys like this video and enjoyed it thank you guys again for watching I'll have more videos coming up for you guys and I'll see you guys next time thank you guys again bye bye